And now we're on Das Nun Dalad Omid Beis. Milo Modu Rabbi Akiva did Tzarchlem Luchay. Rabbi Akiva did not mean that on his own the Shliach could decide he wants to bring Duluim instead of Yerach because he wants to bring Kavit instead of Basa. No. Rabbi Akiva is only saying that because it's a, it's it's got this generic min basar, and kavit is included in that expanded definition of basar. Therefore, it's within the mitzvah, the chova of the shliach to go back to the shalach to tell him, can I fulfill the shlichus with kavit? But if, on the other hand, the shliach makes his own decision without asking permission from the shalach, and the shliach takes the initiative to bring back kavit, and for that matter, Dluim, then in that sense, he's Oved, he's Osa al Das Atma. He's no longer Shliach. He can expand the Shlichas, but only when he gets that green light from the Shalaya. If my Shvaita Kami the Rava Omalun Shapir Omanachbeni. When Abai's insight came back to Rava and they presented it to Rava, Rava said, very good. Shkur. Why is Abai called Nachmeni? So the Ran points out that he was raised by Rabbah Bar Nachmeni. So they gave him the name of the grandfather. Very often, you know, we give the name of the grandfather. So Abai was born a Yasom. He was born without parents. His mother died in childbirth. His father died while during the pregnancy. And he was raised by Rabbah Bar Nachmeni. And Rabbah taught him Torah. And Rabbi called him by the name of his father, Nachman. By the way, the impression I get from this Gemara, and I've seen this elsewhere, is that Rava was considered like, in a sense, the Rebbe of Habayi. Uh, don't take me literally. He wasn't the Rebbe. They were they were Chaverim. They were colleagues. And there were all sorts of Gemaras about uh, Abayi for Rava as they grew up as children. But it seems that Rava... And, and we always pass them, like with the exception of uh, Yal Kagan, but Rava was the elder statesman, so to speak. And if Abai had a Shtikl Torah, a Chiddush, and, and Rava gave him the approval, that, that was something special. That was something important. Now, we mentioned that the Tanakama rejects Rabbi Akiva. And now the Gemara wants to identify who is the Tanakama. Mantana, the Polygal, later Rabbi Akiva. And the more answers, we can identify him as Rav Shimagam Lili. And now we're going to quote a Brysa. The Reisha is the Tanakama, and the Seifa of this Brysa is Rav Shimagam Lili. So let's see the Reisha. And this is the first opinion. Hanodim and Abbasa are also Bechol meaning Basa. Everything's included on the Basa. Whether it's Basa Bakar, Basa Tzon, Basa Chaya, Basa, uh, whether it's uh, Rosh or Raglayim, uh, Kone. Kone is the windpipe for Kove, the lave, Ophos, and even Ophos. Look at that. Even birds, we'll see about fish in a minute, but even birds are included in the definition of Boston. So this obviously is, is not the Mantan of the Polyga of Rabbi Akiva. On the contrary, this would support Rabbi Akiva in the expanded definition of Boston. Okay, uh, grasshoppers are not considered bossar at all. And even dogim are not considered bossar. The Gemara later on is going to try to analyze the difference between ofos, which is included on the bossar, and chagovim, and dogim, which are not considered bossar. But in any event, the Tanakami of this price has the expanded definition of bossar. Rav Shemagam Liel Omer, but In other words, if you were sent as a shliach to bring back basar to the shaleach, then you could bring different kinds of basar. You could bring basar chaya, you could bring basar tzon, bakar, but you would not bring the rush and the Raglayim, the Kona, the Kaved, the Lev, and the Ophos. All these would not be brought back by the Shliach on his own initiative. Again, he would go back 
to the Mishalech and ask him, can I expand the scope of the Shlichus to include all these? But the be basic principle is that anything that the Shlich has to go back to ask for permission for the expanded scope of the Shlichus is not considered in included in the Lashon. And therefore, it's not also benedim. The ain't sarach loma beside dogim v'chagov. How much more so is it partial that fish and grasshoppers are not considered part of basa? Because we saw that even the Tanakhama concedes that dogim and chagov are not part of basa. In any event, we see clearly that Rav Shimgam Leo is the exact opposite of Rabbi Akiva. Whereas Rabbi Akiva says the very fact that the shliach has to go back and ask for permission, that proves that it is Bechal Bosa, it is Bechal Yer. And Rabbi Shem Gavliel says, no, the opposite is true. The fact that the shliach has to go back and ask for an expanded scope, that proves that it's not part of Bosa, and it's not included in the Eastern Medrash. The Chain, the Brisa, quotes Rabbi Shem Gavliel Omer, Kravayim Lav Bosa. And the kishkis is not boss. A person, normal person, should not be eating that part. The, 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 that, that's not um, you know, the normal behavior pattern of, a, of, a, of an upstanding citizen, so to speak. And ochleim kim boso The Gemara now explains from Shem Gavliel that if somebody eats the Kravayim, he's not considered a Ben Adam, that's a person who buys, when he goes to buy meat, he buys Kirbayim. Because that's what he wants to, that's what he wants to eat. He could have bought regular meat, regular Vasa, but he bought Kirbayim, Labar Inish, he's not knowing a Minig of Ben Adam. This has to do already with um, Hilchus Deos, with the um, Midos. Now that one wants to understand the difference between Ophos and Dogi. And we're going back to the Tanakama who says that if he took a neder, bin Abasa, he's not allowed to eat chicken, but he's allowed to eat fish. Maishna Visar O Litanakama the Osir. The Tanakama prohibits Oph. And yet he permits Dogi. So the reason why he permits, I'm sorry, the reason why he prohibits Ov, obviously, is the Ovid Shlicha Dibim Because as we reflected the Shita of Rabbi Akiva in the Tanakam of this, of, of this Mishnah. I'm sorry, this price. Rabbi Akiva says that the very fact that the Shlich goes back and asks him, well, I didn't find meat, but I found chicken. That proves that chicken is also considered part of meat. Frank Gemara, beside dog and Nami. If let's say the Shlich could not find neither meat nor chicken, of his Shlicha, he's going to ask the Shaleach, would you be happy with fish? The Omar Yilomish Kachina Bisra, I see doggy. In an event that I couldn't find any Basar and not even O, can I bring or shall I bring doggy? Is Litzeru. This is Rabbi Kiva Shita, reflecting in the Tanakhav of the Spraisa, that if the Shliach has to go back, then it's included in the original category, the original definition. Therefore, doggy no less than Ophos should be completed considered Basar, and no in a Basar, therefore should be also even in Dogim. Why did the Tanakhama say that? I admit that Dogim is not also. Um, Rabaye, the case in the Brisa was Kigon Shehik is Dam. That the day on which the Neder was taken and the day on which the Shliach was sent as a Shliach to bring back Basar was the day of Akozas Dam. They had certain days when they bloodlet, and bloodletting is quite dangerous because it weakens the body. And Abai assumes that on the day of Akozas Adam, you would not eat fish. You have to eat something that strengthens the body. 
which would be Bosar, which would be Ophos, but not Dogi. So the Gemara says, I'm going to prove from the statement of Shmuel that a person on the day of Arkosis Dam should be eating meat, but not chicken. A person who's mak is dam, and they took it out of like the upper area of the body, which is called the ketefai in the shoulder area, and then afterwards he went ahead and he ate chicken. Shmuel, who is the great rofe in his time, makes the declaration that parach libe bitzifra, His lave, his heart is going to be, so to speak, flying away like a, like a bird, which is a way of saying that he's going to be very weak and he's going to faint. So we see that on the day of HaKosu Saddam, a person does not eat ophos. So if on that day he took a nedem in a basar, then obviously he would not be ossering ophos. So why did the Tanakhama say that he's also be ophos? And now we're going to support the statement of Shmuel from a price of Isanya Ein Makizim. After Akaza, a person should not be eating neither fish nor chicken nor salted meat. One second. Okay. So once again, we see from the Brisa that a person should not be eating chicken, which is exactly what Shmuel had said. Visanya, we learned in the Brisa, he kids down, lo yocha lo cholo, lo gvino, lo beitzen, lo shachalayim, lo ofos, lo basa molia. We see clearly that ophos are excluded. It's not something that strengthens the body. And we don't eat ophos after our causes are not. So, why does the Tanakhama say that if a person takes a nedim in a basar, he's allowed to eat dogim because you don't eat dogim on the day of our causes but yet he's also the ophos. You don't eat ophos on the day of our causes Now, on the word Beitzim here, he has a kasha from the Taz. You know, the Taz lived uh, four and a half centuries ago, and uh, apparently in his time, it was quite uh, common to do bloodletting, and they would eat Beitzim after the bloodletting. He says, "Yesh lechalik bein akaza shalanu lakaza shikinsu kizman agamar." In other words, at the time of the Gemara, they took out a very serious volume of blood, and beitzim is not something that you want to eat after such akaza. Nowadays, he says it's only a lightweight akaza. We only take out a limited amount of dam, and therefore beitzim are okay. The shach. In your Odea Simon Reishu Zion disagrees with the Taz in his Nakuda Sarkesef, and he writes that we should differentiate between Beitz and Tluyos. Tluyos Verakos. Those are soft eggs. So they Beitz and Vushols Verkoshos, or hard boiled eggs. Okay, fine. So the more answers. By the way, do you have an English translation for the word Shachalayim? I was going to look that up, and I didn't get a chance. All right, we'll look it up a little bit later. Shiny Ophos, the Efshar al Yudei Shlika. We assume that when he took a nether on the day of his Akaza, he included Ophos. Why? Because even though on the day of Akaza you don't usually eat chicken, but if you do Shlika, which is Bishal Maruba, and you cook it for a very, very long time, it becomes very, very soft then it's okay to eat those ofos after hakoza sadam. But dogin is not royal achil after hakoza, even if he would cook it over and over and over again. So the das had no there in the case of the day of hakoza sadam, 
is to include Ophos in Bosar, and therefore the nether extends to include bo- uh, uh, Ophos, because Ophos you can eat on the day of Akosal Yidei Shlika, but not to include Dogim, because you don't eat Dogim even on Yidei Shlika after Akosal Sada. Abai offers another interpretation of this Brisa, why the Brisa the Tanakama was Mati Dogim, but not Ophos. Abai Omar, he has an ayik. Dogim kosher le night. And eating fish is detrimental to a holy a night. So therefore, when he took the nether on the day that he's suffering from this ayik, he obviously did not include dogim in, 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 in that in that Eastern nether because it's not royal. It's not something that he would have thought to eat at all. And it seems from this Gemara that Chagavim was never even a Havami, that under any circumstances he would include that on the bus. The Gemara asks, if he had an Aye, so then Achil Dogim, the experts will tell us that fish is good and healthy for an Aye. The Omar Shmuel, the great Dr. Shmuel said, Nun Samachayim. So he has a remez here from the order of the alphabet, Nun Samach Ayin, to Nuna Sama Leinayin. Nuna is fish, Sama is Rafua, and Ayin is for the eyes. So Shmuel's statement is against Abai. Abai says that eating fish is not good for the eyes, where Shmuel says that fish is very good and healthy for the eyes. Uh, who so uchlo? So Gemara differentiates now with regard to Rafuel Einai between the beginning of his headache, of his eye ache, and the end of his eye ache. So if he's at the end of his eye ache, he gets gradually better and his situation improves, then Shmuel says that I advocate that he eat fish. So if he took a nedim in Abbasar, Towards the end of his ayik, he would be also even in dogin. When the Brisa says, dogin, that's talking the case of Tchilas Acholi. When he began, and it's a more severe ayik, and he's suffering from it, at that point, fish, as Abai pointed out, is mazik lainayim, and therefore it was not included in his neder on that day that he suffered from. An and this leads us in Ritz Hashem for tomorrow's daf, the Mishnah on daf, Nun Heyam and Takes up to you, wish you a great day.